Hey everybody, this is Blue, and I'm here to show you guys our updated version of Nesbitt's deck from the virtual world. So, Nesbitt's deck was all about machine monsters, um, and his, his deck master effect let him hurt his opponent by just, you know, kind of purging his own resources. Um, each of the big five had their own thematic background of what they did in Kaiba Corp and then how they translated that to Yu-Gi-Oh cards because, of course, it wouldn't have been the Yu-Gi-Oh anime without trying to take uh, business practices and then apply it to a trading card game. So Nesbitt's machine, um, Nesbitt's machine deck was always one of my favorites. You know, uh, Machine King is cool. Perfect Machine King is even cooler and we like the way the deck has changed. We've made some really interesting changes. So if you guys hang with me, first up is three copies of Cyber Falcon. So his deck's an interesting mix of some real power that's in there, but just a lot of vanilla machines. Because, again, his whole theme was kind of just burning through his resources to inflict damage to the opponent. Um, and Nesbitt had the very unique opportunity of doing a three versus one. So uh, his deck was, was very, very lethal in the anime because uh, he had to balance out against three opponents. Um, his actual deck, the way we've done it, it still has, it packs a punch, but it's not entirely that same uh, powerhouse because, it, again, it's loaded with vanillas. So... Following up with the Cyber Falcon is Gig Attack Wolf, also at three. And these are some old school, really cool machines that I am a fan of just for nostalgia's sake, uh, even though they just really don't serve much purpose other than either being burned uh, for effect damage or just, you know, something to drop on the field. Three Ground Attacker Bug Growth, something we also saw in the uh, Possessed Keith deck. So it was nice to see this come around again. Just some of the really cool old-school machine monsters. Only tanked T-34. Keeping on that trend. Uh, don't forget to say, uh, talk about the stream, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Yeah, I think. So his last vanilla is Robotic Knight. So this was his original... Deck master, and of course, like all deck masters, it was you know, it had a, a deck master effect that <laughs> had nothing to do with uh, you know, the actual card, there was barring uh, some exceptions. But this was a vanilla, and it was uh, final artillery, he could toss a, a monster from his hand and inflict uh, 500 damage. So, we've recreated that later in the deck with another card, but it stands as three robotic knight. Uh, real quickly, too, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can follow all of our videos as they drop, whether it's deck profiles or duels. So going to the effect monsters, three cannon soldier. So, again, kind of does that burn damage, although this re requires uh, chipping off the field. So, again, it's about balancing your resources and damaging your opponent at the same time. And the last monster is... Three of Machine King. So again, this goes back to the Possessed Keith Machine deck where we first saw this, and it comes back around into Nesbitt's deck. It's a super cool machine monster. Again, one of my favorites, as well as his uh, upgrade form, which you'll be seeing later in this deck profile. Machine King closes up the monsters, and then moving on to the spells. Card of Sanctity. That white sticker means we're playing this card with an anime effect, or... A, you know, something between anime and real life, but it is not played with the card effect printed on the card. Uh, so in this case, we both players draw until they have six cards in hand, because why not? So the main reason we're doing this revised deck profile is because of this card, Clockwork Knight. It was so cool that they printed more cards from the anime. We're always excited when they print more cards from the anime, uh, especially a card like this that was belonging to a lesser character you know we've seen the umpteenth you know another kaiba card a yugi card a jaden card a joey card it's nice to see characters that are a little smaller get some representation as well and of course this card also um has changed the theme a little bit so two copies of fusion 
recycling plant. This was not a card played by the Nets, but, but he did have a recycling plant, and it did something different, but we figured, why not? We have a really cool theme we're working with that you may be catching on right now. So two copies of Fusion Recycling Plant, followed by two copies of Polymerization. Pot of Greed, and Monster Reborn, finish up his spell cards. Guys, don't forget, uh, we are now TCG affiliated, so you can check the link in the description. If you're going to pick up some cards, pick them up through our link. If there's a little bit of money our way, which we use to reinvest into more cards for more decks and more duels. All right, three, backup soldier. So as you're burning and tossing your vanilla monsters for effect damage, Backup Soldier lets you recycle all of those, and you get them back. Again, the whole resources thing. Uh, the Big Five were just a little... You got where they were coming from, but they were a little too uh, corporate and analytical in their responses to everything. So three copies of Full Salvo. It's not perfect, but this is the card that we threw in to replicate his deck master effect. So if you've been following along, just about all of our virtual world decks have cards in them that are meant to replicate to the best we can the deck master effect of that character's monster. We did not want to play with actual uh, deck master effects. So we just substituted in cards that do the same thing. Uh, so the damage isn't quite the same, but Full Salvo kind of conveys, you know, a similar enough uh, ability. And the last card in the deck is three Rurioku Field. Uh, you know, a card that Nesbitt had. Not super utility for a character deck, but, you know, something that does work and, you know, have its moments. So that is his 40-card main deck. Now, there's probably two groups of people out there. Either you know what's coming or you don't. So introducing Nesbitt's fusion deck is two copies of Perfect Machine King. In the original build of this deck, we ran Machine King as a monster in the deck, the way it is in the TCG, and the deck had a its own supply engine of, you know, how it could get out Perfect Machine King and then recycle it um, through Machine Assembly Line, but now we decided to really redo it and give the deck a fusion engine. And, of course, if you do remember, in the anime, Perfect Machine King was a fusion of Robotic Knight and regular Machine King. And so ours is the same thing. That white errata sticker means we're playing it differently. So we're playing this with its anime effect that it is a fusion monster. I know, right? The opposite of Flame Swords where we unfusioned it. This is now treated as a fusion monster, a robotic knight, Machine King, and still has its effect to gain attack points. And this really benefits now off of Clockwork Knight. Makes it super strong. And we felt making a fusion helped balance that out a little bit. So guys... We hope that you like our updated Nesbit deck. Uh, if you're a machine fan, this is definitely a character deck for you. It's packed full of really cool, really nostalgic machines. Um, and we do enjoy the new Fusion engine. So hope you guys like this. Stay tuned for more awesome content. See you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like that, we have over 100 character decks brought to life from the anime here on our channel so go check those out and make sure you're subscribed and you click the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video